slept over last night because today we have, well, I have like crazy, a crazy ton of appointments. Um, I have my pain management appointment in the morning. It's my first one and I'm comfortable telling you guys who the doctor is. I normally don't, but I'm comfortable telling you guys because he's quite popular in the dysautonomia community. Um, his name is Dr. Nathan Rudin. So I'm gonna go see him today. Also, we have, or I have my hand therapy appointment um, later in the day, like occupational therapy um, to take a look. Cause my, basically what's been happening is I was wearing like a couple of regular braces and then um, she made me a brace and it isn't working out that great. Um, it's kind of like causing some issues in my hands and it's not, it's not helping. Um, so I'm going to ask her about if she has any recommendations for like generic, um, braces. Because the thing is, is I liked the one that she made me until it started doing that. Um, and I guess it's just like I can't wear it for too long, which really sucked because like I need it, you know? I need a brace there. If she can't do anything, that's fine. Um, but she wants me to get silver rings from the silver ring company, but I can't afford to pay for those up front. Like it's just, they're too expensive. It's like $320 total or something like that. It's like a lot. Um, and then you have to pay for it up front and then your insurance pays you back. But the insurance holder is my dad. So not gonna work out. So I have to make do with what else we can do. So she made me a custom brace the last time I was there. And like it was, it's nice. Like it's really, it like doesn't, it doesn't, it's not too bulky. You know, it's, it's not too heavy or anything like that. Um, the only problem is the fact that it does that to my hands. And then Michaela also has therapy today, so that'll be fun. We're probably gonna go to the Humane Society thrift store today as well. Um, just because we haven't been there in like, I don't know, a couple weeks. And it's always fun to see what they have. Plus, like, if you guys have destructive chewers, like, let me know. Because I have never had, like, that, like, huge of an experience with, like, what toys you're supposed to get them. And, like, the toys that I suggested, I suggested these two that were made out of, like, this orange material that, like, I, at work, that none of the dogs have, like, ever gotten through. And then Toby got through it. And I was like, oh my god, how? So, I'm half debating signing up for, like, that super chewer box, but, like, I doubt those, that that's Those even... are the things that are in there. That's the right. thing, is yep. that pretzel thing? That's yeah. from super chewer. <laughs> yeah, so it's like... But well, he didn't get through the pretzel. It was the boomerang one. No, the pretzel has a hole in it. Oh. <laughs> but um, the thing about signing up for Super Chewer, which might be a good idea, though, is that even if it do even if he does get through it, then you can contact them and be like, hey, um, you guys say your toys are indestructible, but, like, my dog got through it. So, like, what the fuck? So maybe, maybe that is, like, a good idea. Just, like, getting one box of toys, you know? So we're gonna go and look for some more toys because Toby, he has some toys, but the toys that he does have, like there's some of them that were it's like, it, they're broken, but like we still give them to him because he doesn't have too many toys. So we're probably gonna look at that. And I think it would also be nice for him to have something that isn't just bones, you know, to chew on. So he really likes this like leather um, baseball mitt that we got him. It's so cute when he runs around with it and squeaks it. Like, maybe something else like that would be nice. Um, and then we might stop at Petsmart. Because Michaela wanted to. We also have a couple of doctors to call. We have to call a couple of Michaela's doctors because, um, quick little story time. So I slept over at her house this past weekend because it was her 21st birthday. Happy Whoa. birthday. Thanks. So I slept over at her house and we kind of like were, you know, celebrating sort of. Basically, so Saturday I woke up with um, an upset stomach and I was like, oh, that's pretty normal. We'll just use the for it. Light. Throughout the day I was getting some really intense Did stabbing you know, pain um, in my lower stomach. Um, and it wasn't very normal because like I'm const I'm chronically constipated but this was like different felt like there was something to like push when there wasn't um, 
it just got to a point where I ended up going to the ER. So we called the um, triage line for the GI doctor and they asked me if it was a medical emergency. And well, I wasn't like throwing up blood or giving birth to a baby. So I was like, no, it's not a medical emergency. And then they hung up on me. And so we tried to call them again for a couple minutes and it would dial out and then it would end the call. So we waited about a half an hour and called back and then finally someone picked up the phone and I got to talk to the on-call doctor and like one of his recommendations I probably should have followed before going to the ER but the other one I wasn't really keen of so basically he said to take more of my um, uh, gut stimulant um, Linzess takes daily that I take daily so I didn't and it and it isn't doing its job at, anyways so it didn't really make sense to take it again because I didn't think it would do anything especially because it's been doing more harm than good um, then he recommended taking Miralax but he didn't specify what amount and depending on how much you take it helps or it doesn't but I wasn't really sure that it would take away the really intense pain like this was pretty intense on the pain scale it was between six and eight I usually save 9 and 10 for like childbirth and really bad stuff. After calling around, we got a hold of that nurse's line and then uh, my primary and we called the insurance nurse's line because apparently that's a thing. So her insurance company has like a line of nurses that are just available. It's really nice. Right, yeah. Um, so we did that and basically we just decided to go to the emergency room. But by the time we got to the emergency room, my stomach pain had some cited a significant amount so I kind of felt really defeated thanks stomach uh, but I ended up getting like IV Zofran and fluids and tore it all and um, and they just said like your blood tests are normal and that's like okay that's what I care about and they're like well you could do the CT and I'm like well continue on you know I'd rather try to take care of it a different way and if I'm in a lot of pain again I'll just come in again so then we left then I took some Miralax and for like two days and then I would I'm, I'm feeling okay um, so yeah um, I just don't know what's wrong with my body anymore so anybody got a clue let me know Something that for me was really frustrating was that the GI doctor they hung up right away and then when we tried to call back, like we called a couple times because we were like, oh, the call must have gotten disconnected. We tried to call back again and they picked up the phone and then hung it up without saying anything. Who does that? Yeah, so I tried to call and leave a voicemail for the office yesterday because basically the GI doctor, her, his nurse just um, graduated medical college so she moved so they don't have a new nurse and normally you would just contact the nurse directly um, but I can't do that so I contacted the office yesterday and left a voicemail so today we need to try to call them back um, and the two things I need to say is one hi I was in the emergency room nice to meet you and, and I also need to file a complaint against the triage line because I expect the triage line to be somewhere where I can call and be like hey this isn't exactly an emergency, but I need to know if it is, so. Yeah, and the thing is, is I think the new, like, advice that I'm gonna give you and myself is if you call and you're in immense pain and you're thinking of going to the emergency room and you're wondering if that's your correct course of ac action or even just to urgent care, you say it's an emergency. Okay. Or, if they don't ask, then obviously don't tell them that it's an emergency. Usually my nurse's line, my like on-call, um, I think it's called health line, they, you call after hours and they don't ask you if it's an emergency, they just figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm pretty sure that if you tell them like, oh my god, it's an emergency, they're going to say, oh, well, you should call 911. But, you know, there's situations where you don't do that. And then we need to call your doctor to like talk to them like fuck that shit um plus we need to talk to them about like why is this happening like if you're on Linzess, like this should not still be happening you know right and they want to do a sits sits shibishits 
a shit study where they basically I swallow something and then they do an x-ray for a couple days straight uh, but they haven't gotten it scheduled yet they don't know really where to do it without making me come into a that big city so yeah and then it was Arlo's birthday yesterday so he's two now it's crazy he's two he's two years old so yesterday we got up when he wanted so basically whenever he I would like wake up and see if he was still asleep and if he was asleep I would go back to sleep and if he was awake then that's when we got up so he got to pick when we got up and then um also we he had like breakfast that had like a bunch of treats in it and then he had a peanut butter Kong and one of his favorite things to do is once I clean his bed like I clean all of his stuff he loves to just lay and roll around in it so I was like okay I'll just clean although he didn't do much of that last night well no he was he was tired um but I cleaned all of his stuff we cleaned all of I cleaned all of his toys um and then he got um a peanut butter Kong and he got a bunch of presents so he got all of his like you know he got like three antlers and like a bunch of toys and some treats um so he got all that and he had a fun time playing with that yesterday um and then you know we kind of cuddled all day like i didn't really do much of anything besides like cuddle with him and like clean a little bit um and then we uh gave him a like haircut sort of we like shaved his body last night um and shaved his feet and his face and then we also um we also gave him a bath and we brushed his teeth and did all that kind of stuff and i trimmed his nails so he is a very clean fresh boy we just didn't do his ears no. all the way but that's that's fine we didn't get done with some stuff, but that's okay. I didn't dremel his nails, I just cut them, which I usually do. But I did a little dremel. So yeah, he is all clean, which is fun because he gets really excited and happy to play around when he's, you know, when he's just out of bounds. So meanwhile, my my worst nightmare is coming alive. Well, we're gonna head to the appointment and then we will talk to you afterwards um i like to say my goals for the appointment for the appointment so my goals for this appointment um i want to talk to him about my joint pain um i want to talk to him about my migraines i want to mention to him that i'm you know getting a wheelchair and i would like to see if he has any suggestions um for that sort of thing um, and then we want some progress on treatment for those three things. So we will see you guys at the appointment. Hello! So she loves her pain management. Doctor. He's the best! Um, she was so scared. I was really afraid like walking into the appointment. I was like shit Like what if he tells me like what if we find out like I don't have EDS or something? Um, and then like it's something else or whatever and then like it, it was awesome So he was really nice his I don't know if it was like a student or what um, Or like a nurse. I'm not sure but he has like this guy that follows him around and he was great feet. But he was fantastic. Uh -oh. so we went and we went inside and basically as soon as we got in, they put us in a room right away. I didn't have to sit in the waiting room at all. Um, and they were really nice. And he, this like other doctor guy, I'm not sure who, who he is, but he came in and he did, um, like he asked me about like my history and pain related things. And he asked really good questions. I thought like it wasn't necessarily, they were like guided. So I didn't feel like I, had to like come up with a bunch of things to say you know um 
for like questions that were really vague, if that makes sense. So they were really well guided questions and that was really nice. Um, and then the doctor came in um, and he seemed really cool right away. He was like really, he was funny. Good been um, And then we talked about, we like continued my history related stuff. Um, he talked about like, okay, who diagnosed you with BDS? Like, how did that go? You know, what was your, you know, bait and score and whatever. Um, and then they basically did the bait and again, but like differently, like it's hard to explain. So they basically did the bait and again. Um, and then they did, uh, they took a look at like the blood pooling in my legs. They took a look at my different scars and like the stretch marks that are kind of in weird places that aren't normally there. Um, so Turn right onto John Nolan Drive. It was really nice um, because basically the whole time um, he was asking me questions. So it wasn't just like I was, you know, letting them move my body around the whole time. It was kind of like I was also answering questions. So we were getting like two things done at once. And you also apparently have a bit of scoliosis. Yeah. So that's weird. That's terrifying. Um, I have a little bit of scoliosis, but I guess that is normal for EDS patients. Um, and it's not that bad. A lot of my joints have like swelling and they're hard, I guess, because the fact that I'm overusing them a lot and they're not, you know, they're not strong enough. And he was really respectful of Arlo, which was nice. I do have a couple doctors who in the past, like their nurses or whoever have been like not respectful, but he was really nice about it. He was like, oh, he's really cute. What is he? Oh, he's a poodle. Oh, okay. And then like just that, wow, was that, that was like all we talked about. Um, so we talked about like the different mobility aids that I use, the braces that I use. And he was like, yeah, those all sound good. He recommended the silver ring splints again. But um, he said, but he said that we could look up ring splints and like not get the ones directly from the silver ring company. So we can do that. And then um, so I'm gonna do that a little bit later today. And then also he said that things like um, compression garments are really good. Like we knew that. Um, he prescribed me a new medication, which is like a muscle spasm relaxer sort of thing. Um, so I'm gonna try that. And he said to take it at night, it might help me sleep and it might help with like pain. So I'm gonna do that. He was really funny. Like, I'm just like thinking of like all the times when we were basically just like joking, like endlessly, it was really funny. Um, he was really nice. It was just, it was great. And he, he basically, I've been told by other people on like Facebook, some people are like uncomfortable by the fact that he sort of like takes charge of like your medical plan. I'm not necessarily like threatened by that. <laughs> Cause the thing is, is I don't have anyone in my like medical team that necessarily specializes in EDS except for my rheumatologist and him. Everyone else like knows that it exists kind of and like basically understands what I've told them and that's sort of it. Um, and then what my rheumatologist has told them. So to have him to be like, I'm gonna set you up with my physical therapist, my occupational therapist, I'm gonna set you up with like my whoever, you know, like his team of doctors. So it's nice to like know where everything's kind of collected in one place and to have him sort of be like, well, I know I, I'm an expert with EDS and I know about, you know, the symptoms of your condition and I know the best ways to help it. And I also have doctors who have me as a resource. So that's, that's why I'm like really excited. Um, so he got me in with his PT. I have been seeing a physical therapist for a while and I, it's really uncomfortable. I don't know how to tell her that I like am gonna go see another PT. It's gonna be kind of awkward. She'll see it on the schedule. Um, and then also my OT. I, mean, I don't know how to tell her that. So it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be nice to have someone who's kind of at the center of all of my care, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, so. appointment which is 
virtual. And then after our appointments, um, we are gonna go to, we have a couple calls to make, like a couple like doctor calls. And then we're gonna go to um, probably the Humane Society thrift store and the pet store. Yeah. Did you have fun, Michaela? Yeah. What did you think of it? It was good. Do you think you'd want to see him? I don't know. You don't know? I just want my doctor to actually give a shit, so. Yeah. Not that she doesn't give a shit, I just don't think that she doing the right stuff, you know? Yeah. Alright. So, we will talk to you guys in a little bit when we get food. Ooh, food. So we went to McDonald's and we put food in our tummies. I ate breakfast and fries. <laughs> so we went to McDonald's, we got some food, and then um, I had my appointment. I couldn't really vlog between McDonald's and the appointment because we were waiting to get here. So um, my hand appointment, basically, we looked at the fact that my skin is just kind of opening for no reason. Um, she told me it's not a flesh-eating bacteria. That's, That's good. Great. Good, good, yes. Basically, my strength has gone down, and it looks. Okay. You've been working on your strength, but it's also okay. right. I've been really working on it. I've been doing my physical therapy exercises as much as I can without like hurting myself. But basically, I have. Okay, so this is my occupational therapist. She's my hand doctor, so she does stuff with my hands. I also had a wheelchair consult. So before my wheelchair consult, I was at like you know, a good number for strength in my hands, okay? If my grip strength was okay, it was definitely not as good as average, but it was good for EDS. I go in to see the doctor for, um, I go in to see the doctor for my wheelchair consult, they do the check and it's like really low and they don't put any units, so I don't know if it's in pounds like the rest of my measurements are or what's going on. So I was like freaking out. And then she called the doctor. My hand doctor calls the physical therapist that did this hand check. She's like, hi. So like, what the fuck? <laughs> are the measurements in pounds or what are the, what's going on? Like, why did it go down by like 30? And she's like, oh, they're in kilograms. And I'm like, okay, thank you. Who uses I, kilograms? I don't know. Like nobody. I've never had my strength checked in, pound, in kilograms ever. So it was really weird. It's not that big of a deal, but it really scared both of us because we were like, oh my God, I was at like 41 and now I'm at like 19. Like, Jesus, I can't right. like lift anything. That was what happened to my hand doctor. Um, she wants me to look at different braces, you know, the spring, or the, 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 the splint rings. So we're gonna look those up um, and see what I can find. Um, Otherwise, she was really excited that I was seeing this new doctor. She said that she's actually part of his team. So I might get to stay with my current occupational therapist, which is nice because I like her. So now we are going to the Humane Society thrift store. And then we might go, um, there's like a couple other like fun stores over there. I think there's a pet store somewhere over there we might go to. There's another big thrift store that I really like to go to because it's huge. And then we're gonna go back to Gabby's house and strategize and play Animal Crossing. Yeah, we have a, a, bu a bunch of things to do on We Michaela's. were supposed to play Animal Crossing yesterday. We have a bunch of things to do on we did Michaela's to-do list. We didn't play Animal Crossing yesterday. I just wanted to play Animal Crossing yesterday. We shaped your dog. Is that your primary right there? Yeah. Oh, very nice. We have a bunch of things to do on my to-do, or on Michaela's to-do list. And I have a couple places I need to call. Um, we've got doctors to call for her, doctors to call for me, and yeah, so that's gonna be really exciting. But how was your therapy appointment? Tell them about your therapy appointment. It was good. We talked about family being stressful. Wow. So we did a lot of things. So we went to the Humane Society thrift store and we found a bunch of stuff. So we got that. We found some clothes too, which is weird because um, we don't really close shop very often. But um, 
we got some stuff there, and then after that, we headed over to the St. Vinny's. Um, then we came over here to PetSmart because um, Michaela wants to get, Michaela got a biothane collar for Toby because she wanted something different um, other than like the cloth stuff because his hair gets trapped in it a lot and then um, sometimes he has allergy issues and with the biothane it might like reduce that. And then also um, she got him a mat for his crate. Which would work good at my college. Use job. any lane to turn right onto Mineral Road, then turn right onto the US 12 East Ramp. So, did that, and then I, I got, I found some, I needed some more shampoo and conditioner, um, and they had them on clearance that is usually really expensive. It was like half the price of what it usually is and it smells really good so I got that. I got some conditioner too because we're almost out of both. Because we're almost out of, almost out of both, always. Yeah, we got a bunch of really good smelling conditioner shampoo and then there was some conditioner there that was, you know, pretty good price for like a bulk amount so I got some of that. And then um, now we are driving over to Five Below. Both Mikhail and I are kind of dizzy. Then we're gonna go to Walgreens and pick up your meds and pick up some, like a small thing of my relax. And then I am also gonna get my new blood pressure cuff. Ooh. And then we're gonna go home. And then we're gonna go home. And, and then, then I'm going to sleep. We have a bunch of calls to make. Um, we have to call a bunch of Michaela's doctors, which maybe we should do that right now while you're still awake. Um, a bunch of those calls to make and then also we have to call a bunch of my people and then I need to do some digitizing somehow but I'm probably just gonna start an over and cry again. I've cried two times trying to make this design. I don't know what my problem is but I can't seem to get it to work. And then we're gonna have dinner and Michaela's gonna have turkey spaghetti which is ground turkey with spaghetti sauce and we'll update you guys in a little bit and we'll do a haul when we get back and we like have kind of chilled out for a little bit we'll do a haul Mikhail's using my sunglasses which is fabulous welcome to my flare up your girl, Flare Claire. Flare Claire. It rhymed. Plus we got um, uh, we got these like collars at the Humane Society thrift store that are like GPS and activity trackers and stuff like that. Um, but we don't want to pay for like the monthly subscription. We feel me. So we're gonna turn them on and try and get them to fig try and figure them out. And if not, then we're gonna email them and be like, "Hi, we'll promote your product on YouTube as long as you don't charge me." No, so, I'm kidding. I'm um, kidding. We're just sorry. So we're oh, gonna you probably that. should check my Thomas in for me when we get back. Yeah. We're gonna try that on another video though. We're probably not gonna try it on this video. I might make another video out of that because like content. Um, but yeah. yeah. There was this really nice woman, and this really nice girl, lady, whoever, at um, at St. Vinny's. She was making skirts without a sewing machine. She was sewing skirts without a sewing machine. Like, how do you even do that? I had a voicemail. We'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so um, we are back home. We had dinner and everything, and now we are um, gonna like show you guys everything that we got today. We didn't really organize it at all. Um, so the stuff that we got from the Humane Society thrift store, 
Toby got a cooling mat because he's overheating even though he's a Mississippi boy. I don't know. So we got, we got ourselves a, a cooling mat. Um, and then I got our little bunch of toys. So, you know, I always do. So there's a little, you know, crinkly, squeaky um, spider. <laughs> He's just laying on his back, like, not caring. And then this is another one for the Christmas <coughs> box. Um, just squeaks like that. And then we've got a little backpack that I thought was really cute, and that squeaks somehow. Or maybe it just has a tennis ball in it, it's just crinkly, I don't know. And then this is like a little tiki guy. It's got ropes on it and then they both squeak. Um, so that's cool. Arlo loves the bigger version of this and I think he'll like the smaller version so much better too. Um, he has like the Consuelo the cactus, but this is the um, Penny the pineapple. And it crinkles on the top and then it also squeaks. Um, and then also got him a little Tootsie Roll. It's got rope on either side. Doesn't really feel like anything. Just kind of like rope on the inside and stuffing. That's it. So those are the toys that he got. And then we also got, I got another Leather Hands Free Leash. This one's a little bit thicker. Um, so I like this one because it's a little bit thicker and it has a movable D-ring. So you can move that D-ring around, which is kind of nice. Around town. Around town. Um, and I haven't really had anything like that before. So that's going to be nice. So that's all the stuff for Arlo. Uh, we got. found um, a leash that also has, it's all wrapped up, that also has a seatbelt on it. So I thought that was cool and that we could keep it in the car. That way he has a car leash. And then I got some clothes. Um, so this is for Megan, um, for her cosplay. This is, um, a nice little black jacket. And then Gabby convinced me to get this little, like, maxi skirt dress thing. Very fancy. And then I got a shirt that says, My thoughts have been replaced by Hamilton lyrics which is definitely a me thing. And then I found this little cute jacket. It's from Old Navy and like, I thought it looked really cute. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I got some like me stuff too. So there was this belt and I don't really have a ton of belts. Um, and this one was just really flexible. Like the leather was already definitely worn in really nice, which is good in belts like most leather things in general. And then also, I found these two dresses, like my usual style of wearing gigantic things. And I'm going to wear a belt in the middle, so I tried them on, they look really cute um, with the belt in the middle. So I got the black one, and the maroon one. So I'm excited to, to wear those. The next place that we went, Vinny's. Vinny's, yeah. And we're not, there's one item that we're not going to show you guys because we're going to make a separate video on it. But we already told them about him. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, but we'll make a separate video on those link collars. So, I'll yeah. film that tonight before I get you tired. Mm -hmm. um, so we went to the thrift store and I got this, um, my fish needed a filter cartridge. I've been lacking and you can definitely hear it from the fish tank. So. I got this, it was 90 cents. And then Gabby found this cute little sock monkey, which reminds me of Mia, so I also got that. Um, so we found this blanket that is a lamb. So I am going to give this to Arlo because I treat him as if he is an infant child. So this is his now. I'm gonna put it in his crate. You almost didn't get it, but then. I almost didn't Arlo get it. Liked it, but then Arlo liked it, and I needed to get it for the baby, so I did. Um, and then they had some of his usual toothpaste. We used the Fresh Breath brushing gel, and they had That's it. Not fresh Breath? Yeah, it is Fresh Breath. Huh? Older labeling, maybe? 
No, it's, um, they have different, like, flavors. Mmm, what one is that? I don't know. <laughs> but it's not expired, so that's good. Well, let me see when it was made. It's warm. We exit in the car. Arlo, don't put this in your mouth until it, it's bitter. It's on the bottom. You have to look up the label. Oh. It's warm. So, the nice thing is, is I usually pay, like, $4 for a thing of this. But this was 60 cents, so that was definitely a good purchase. And then, Sorry guys, I have a mosquito, but... And then I finally... Oh, you did buy it! I finally um, gave in and bought one of these because I keep seeing them everywhere, and I've okay. wanted one since okay. I was really little. Oh, let me fix this one pin, though. Okay. Peace. Well, don't be careful with this pin. I will. Okay. So, I got one from the thrift store. Mm. It was only 60 cents and a little pop thumb bag, we only got COVID We also went to pocket. PetSmart and I got this huge thing of 2-in-1 conditioning shampoo. It's huge, it's mango tango, it smells really freaking good, um, and The nice part of it is that I paid like almost, you know, I paid like five, six bucks for it compared to you would usually pay like 14, I think, for a bottle like this. So I'm glad I got that. And then I got a huge thing of conditioner. Um, That'll be gone instantly. It'll be gone like right away. Um, it's got the oatmeal and coconut water, the stuff that he really likes, that smells really good on him and stuff. So. Mmm, mm, smells clean. So, they both smell really good, so I'm really excited to use those. What'd you get at PetSmart? Um, I don't know, because we can't find the bag. We'll let you know if we find it. But, why don't we look for it? The one time? thing that I did get was this giant ass crate mat for Toby for when we go back to school. It's big and it's soft, and I think he's going to love it. But we might use it before then so he gets accustomed to it. And then, because Gabby likes to hide my stuff, I got um, Hot Spot Relief Spritz. It was on clearance and hopefully should help with Toby's miscellaneous source. <laughs> and then we got a Biofane color. It's blue and it's, I think it's gonna be a lot nicer for him and his skin issues, so. Yeah. Right now, they were using a Chain Martingale. Chain Martingale. What is on him. And I can't get the tags off. So. Um, they were using a Chain Martingale on him for his tags, like as just like a regular collar, which isn't ideal, so. We went to Five Below. And we went to Five Below! So, at Five Below, I got one of these. I use this on my phone all the time. Um, I have one of them that I paid like $40 for, literally $40, which is really, it's garbage if they can really sell them for $5. So, um, this is an 8-pin, so lightning charger, and, um, headphones jack. You can put it's this in your phone and, and use both. No, it says... It's also called a USB-C. USB-C is what you no, use. No, no, that's the Mac. USB-C is what you use on your Switch. Oh. So this one is for your phone to plug in at the same time that, um, like charge at the same time that you're using regular headphones. So I'm really thankful that I found this because it's five bucks and if this works that would be awesome compared to what I usually use which is forty dollars. And then they break all the time. So, you can find new ones. Um, and then, did you get one of these? No, I didn't. Crap. Um, we got... Well, I got, um, oh, and they come with the covers to the things. Mm -hmm. Good. I wanted to get those. That I was complaining that I couldn't find those. Mm. Silicone covers for my Switch controllers. Because I'm a gamer. I'm a hardcore gamer. Don't, she also has a lot of things. Don't judge me. Don't judge any of my bubblicious. Okay. Don't judge. I said, don't judge. Stop judging me. Oh, my God. I was gonna start throwing other stuff and I realized there was none. No, I don't think there's anything left. So I buy a lot of candy. 
Um, and the reasoning for that being that I am hypoglycemic. So what happens is I will eat something that's really sugary and I won't get any blood sugar from it. Like my body doesn't process the sugar very well. So um, in order to give myself like, you know, in order to give myself sugar, because the thing is, is I get the rest of my nutrients, like that's okay. But to get myself sugar, I sometimes have to eat a lot more sugar than usual. <laughs> So, um, it, it's not, it's not the most fun thing. But then in the middle of the night when my blood sugar gets low and I feel really sick and like, like crap, I have to, I have to eat sugar. And like, I know that I could get like glucose tablets, but those things taste like crap. You could have apple juice. <laughs> I don't like apple juice either. So well, sometimes I'll suck. drink, um, sometimes I drink pomegranate juice. That's helpful. Otherwise, I like once and once every couple of days, I'll eat one of these. But I like to stock up when they're cheap. And then I got a tea suet that this says... tank top that says Femme Forever or something like that. If you've seen me in any of my other videos, basically any other video, I am wearing this tank top. Which and it's is because cool. yeah, it's because this is my favorite tank top. This is my favorite shirt. This is all she ever wears all the time. Uh, yeah, so I wear it to sleep, I wear it during the day, I wear it all the time, and it's because... She never changes. I love it, and also because I have sensory processing disorder and I have a hard time picking different clothes. This shirt I wear all the time, and I'd like to have another one. I tried to purchase, um, I tried to purchase this shirt again online, and they told me that it was sold out, so that was really sad. So I got this other one, which I think is the same style, but it's been a little bit since I've purchased from them. So I really hope that this is the same style. We're praying, okay? We're gonna pray. pray. We're gonna pray. We're gonna pray to the gods. Pray, crying, praying. So, praying. So we're gonna try that on, see if it works. And then, um, I have an I, addiction. I, I found that for her today. So I like, Everything checkered. You can really see checkered. by your clothes. So, so um, this is gonna be for my keys, and they're gonna is there a dot on it? disconnect. Oh, there's a dot on it. Yeah, they're gonna disconnect um, when I'm not gonna have them on the liner, and then when I have them on the liner, they're gonna be on here. So, yeah. And then I also got we both found those because because like Walmart sold out. Yeah, Walmart like sells out of these ones, and that's where like we normally get them. I haven't smelled them yet. They smell like lavender and chamomile. Ooh! Mm. They smell really good. Mmm! So when I run out, you're gonna buy me more? No. You can buy your own. Why not? It smells almost like a doggy clone. Like a what? It's heavy. Reminds me oh, of like cologne. cologne. I thought you said a doggy clone. A doggy clone. So. Yeah. We got that. Um, we're running out of poop bags at the house, so I grabbed more poop bags because they were five pounds. Then we got this floaty toy, which I'm hoping... Toby doesn't like the water. Toby doesn't like the water, but maybe he'll be interested in the toy. They go I'm to just... the lake a lot, though, so the thing is, is for him not to not be interested in the water is kind of sad. So, I'm hoping that he's gonna, like, freak out about the water, but try to get the toy, but not, like, be so interested in the toy that he chews it apart. We'll see. Um, I got this bowl, this travel bowl that's a little smaller than some of the bowls I have right now, um, that says hashtag hangry, which is definitely what Toby is most of the time. Um, and then, let's see, um, we also found this cooling dog toy, because we're working on getting him to cool down. Um, so you put water in it and freeze it. Um, we just got him another freeze toy that I haven't let him try it but i will soon um and then i got this t-shirt because she was complaining that i didn't have a t-shirt on this trip and so it says the future is whatever because i'm really stressed about what the future is going to look like here and so i thought it was hilarious and that i that if it was five dollars i just was gonna go for it and then so toby keeps taking my really fluffy blanket on my bed that i love because it's purple and soft and mine so he now has a soft fuzzy blanket fixed to five below um and i'll sleep with it for a couple days so that it smells like me and then i'll let him have it on his new bed or not a new bed but like i'm gonna let him try that crate mat before we like take it to school you know 
He can have the bed or the mat at home. He needs to pick one. Oh, and then also at Five Below, we found um, a Celeste Amiibo. And we're not 100% sure if this is going to work with the Switch. Because this says, it says Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. It doesn't say anything about the Switch. Um, so we'll see. We'll, we'll try it. We'll, we'll try it. Um, and then the last stop we made Walgreens was Walgreens. And we got drugs. <laughs> we got drugs. So, um. Not those kind of drugs, y'all. No, not fun drugs. Sadly. Um, uh, it might be fun. So, this is back within. I have literally never tried this before. I am so nervous. It literally um, didn't do anything for me, so. The reason that I'm nervous for it, um, which the guy. I'm throwing shit over here, okay? Okay. My guy prescribed it to me today. He was super nice He's about like, it. He's like, well, if, if you have syncope episodes, then just, like, stop it. Just don't take it anymore. Like, okay. Um, so that's fun. And then also, we got this. And I'm going to make another video of me setting this up. So if you guys are interested in that or interested in us setting up these American Kennel Club link collars. We'll see how it goes. We're not going to, well... I don't know. We might try, like, maybe we could do it for a month, like, pay for it for just a month, and then, like, review it. That's expensive. I, I will show you guys how to do this in a little bit, how to set one of these up. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and we will see you guys in whatever we make next. Bye. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And